Uh, it's not true all of the time, but often these strong, these significant or, or, or strong tornadoes tend to be uh, larger. So um, the path width can be um, in half a mile or sometimes up more than that. So uh, that's going to be one of the things that the survey teams assess is they will uh, be measuring um, what, you know, how large was the tornado as well as how strong the tornado was. scenes that you will find from West Little Rock uh, crossing the river into North Little Rock and then into Jackson. Um, so there were two uh, high risk areas, one across Arkansas, Tennessee and Mississippi, and then another one uh, across uh, Iowa and Illinois. And um, this is used by the Storm Prediction Center to assess, assess the, um, the risk of severe thunderstorms. So it's on a scale of uh, it's basically on a scale of of zero to five, um, and this is as high as the as high as the scale gets. Uh It's not very common. Um, this is the first time in, I believe, more than 10 years that we've had uh, two areas of high risk. Um, that's very uncommon um, because typically the atmosphere likes to focus um, on one particular area. But in this case today, we had two areas uh, of concern and a broad area of what's called a moderate risk, which is uh, four out of five on the on the scale. So. Um, this this was a pretty widespread severe weather threat um, with a large area of concern for tornadoes. We have a powerful storm system moving across the Great Plains and it's drawing uh, a lot of warm, moist air uh, from the Gulf of Mexico into uh, a large portion of the Mississippi Valley all the way up into portions of Iowa, uh, Illinois, Indiana, those areas. So that's the fuel we need for the thunderstorms. Uh, we also have a lot of wind energy, which is what you need to um, generate the wind shear, the, the, the strong uh, tornadoes uh, that help uh, create that wind shear. So, um, and then, like I said, you have this, this kind of powerful storm system that's, that's helping to unite those two ingredients. So um, these ingredients don't always come together so effectively. Um, and unfortunately, they just have in this case, and this is a very favorable time of year for that to happen.